I'll bet you the good way it's gonna tell me not to do it that way. That's a good depiction of me. It's even wearing my hoodie. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. This is going to be interesting. Oh, damn! Uh-oh. No time to look at the makeout sesh. You can buy flags. Uh-oh. Use the crowd. Don't forget about your eagle fishing, Dustin. What do you think I just used? Gotta go that way. Great. To the bathroom. Set up a checkpoint. I'm telling you, there's definitely a way to get past those guards. If you won't go through them, try to get close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Oh, hey, girl. Anyway. Oh. What is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. <laughs> That's disgusting. I don't. Yeah, I don't get troughs either. That's just wrong. No dick cover. Like, what? You take a shit in the floor? You literally have to squat. Like, what the hell? Anyway, let's get out of here. They are. You're good. Okay, I wasn't sure about that guy. Good. These guys love their soccer or football, as it's like I'm close. Internationally known. Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. Ah, uh, there's one. Hold on. Who are you people? Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Uh-oh. Oh, I see. A gente se ama. Pronto, tá aí, tá dito. A gente se ama e já faz muito tempo. Eu achava que era meu melhor amigo e você aí trançando com minha irmãzinha pelas minhas costas. I got I got to hear this one out. Hold on. Você devia estar feliz por nós. Vou cuidar dela direito. Você vai ver. All right, I think I said. Vai para puta que te pariu. You say I'll pay a visit to the bitch that gave birth to you? What a what an asshole.
I'm not sure which way I need to go. Oh shit. Definitely not that way. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? How am I almost there then? What am I security? Oh, that's security up there. How come we can't blend in this shit? Oh shit. Please don't look at me. Ugh! Holy crap, how did he not see me? Oh it's, oh, it's UFC fight. You're really close now. The power source should be in one of the rooms up here. Damn, they're not even wearing like normal clothes or whatever. You can't even see the fight. What's the point? Look, they, these guys can't even see it. Oh, look at the size of that. Look at that. The size of that bottle she's drinking. Oh my god, it looks cartoony. Still good over here? Still doing good. Oh, I think I found her. Uh oh. What's that asshole? Hurry, Desmond. Do I have to get him? You have to go get him. If he gets away with the artifact, we're screwed. You can't let that happen. Where'd he go? His ass is grass. Get him! Let's beat the shit out of him. Hold on. Come on, kick his ass. Oh! Well, that did it. Time to go. Better move. Okay, head for the metro. I'll hold the train for you. Oh, no, no, what are you doing? Go in there. Bye. Gotta go. This fight sucked. It was rigged. It sucked ass. Oh, very bad. Ran around the road. Oh crap! Run! Oh crap! Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. No, no, no! What are you doing, Desmond? Run, Des! Oh, I think I fucked up. No, I didn't. Oh! Thank God. <laughs> Just made it. Oh my, that was a cool level though. I don't know if that's it, but yeah, it was. Daddy dearest. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. 
Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Uh... I guess I'll plug in the power source first. You know, let's talk to these fags. Let's see if they say anything interesting. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Anything else? Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. Anything I gotta else? get back to work. You might want to do the same. All right, all, right, all right, figured you could use a shoulder to lean on, but fine, I guess not. Where's Dad? Here he is. Dad, come back. Come on, son. We got work to do. Oh, he's got nothing to say. Okay. Oh, I, unbelievable! What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the founding fathers. And Insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. It's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. Yeah, well. I keep trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson could dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme. And your I know. books make only passing mention of the subject as if as if it were of little consequence. They had a war to win. Country's future to secure. How could they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. Huh. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past. Or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. Why not? Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Oh, look at the time. What oh, doesn't time fly? Look, I think it's best we get you back in the Animus, hmm? What about the power source? 
<laughs> Yo, Sean, you want to start a fight? <laughs> Starting some shit. Whoops. Any way to plug in the power source? I have no idea where. Whatever. Let's get back in the animus, I suppose. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Alright, well, let's go back in there. Fuck Winter some shit up. Approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Well, being with that guy for many years, I can understand how you get on each other's nerves. Would drive anyone nuts. Johnstown? Are you serious? We're in Johnstown. Hold on a minute. Alright, well... I'm supposed to fast... Can I fast travel with the horse? Holy crap, where does it want me to go? I guess we'll go here. Oh, damn that Thomas Hickey. Oh, we got a ways to go. Watch, I'm going to get attacked by the Redcoats. Like three times in my trip. I'm not betting, so you can't say anything. Ah! 
I have been letting it replenish. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Hope this will take me there. I mean, I don't see why following this wouldn't, but. What the shit? Dude, come on. So annoying. Go. It gets stuck randomly like that. It doesn't make any sense. That's a lot of bullshit just to get there, isn't it? God damn, how am I supposed to get up this place? I can't fast travel in this way. This beats walking, I can tell you that right now. Here's the graveyard. What are you doing? Go! Can I go up this way? Is it steep enough? Tell me your horse cannot run across that. Give me a break. Jump the wall. Dude, he won't jump the wall. He won't jump the wall. No, 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 no. Ugh. Fuck it. No, we're still far. We're going to have to. Come back. Come back. Let me think about it. Come on, man. Why come I can't get over here? Like, it won't let me jump the fences. What's the problem? Go. Oh, shit. Very bad. Stupid red coats, man. They're everywhere. Whoops. Sorry. That was the enemy, too. All this just to cross a flipping lake. Or whatever. Wherever I'm going. How was that a restricted area? It's a free country. Oh, wait. No, it's not. <laughs> Not yet. You can't say those words yet. It's not yet a free country. Maybe someday. Certain men had a dream. And yeah. The assassins played a big role in how shit went down. Apparently. Oh my god, go. Almost there, finally. Why wouldn't you just jump over it like a normal person? Go, amigo, go! We made it! Unflippin' believable! Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. 
Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. That sounds familiar. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Alright, I guess we're going to the abandoned church. Sit tight here.